Here's how to get stickers on your iPhone keyboard. Now, the first step is let's open up the messages app here. After you open up just a random conversation, there are a couple different options. Let's tap on as if we're starting to type a message. And if you tap on the little emoji icon at the bottom left, now, if you have stickers enabled, you'll be able to see at the very bottom left is a little circle with a kind of line folded over. So I can tap on it and it will get me to my stickers. You can also tap on the little plus next to the cursor here and tap on stickers to just immediately get to the sticker section. However, keep in mind in iOS 18.2, if you want to create a Genmoji or a generative emoji, one that you've created custom, then you need to turn it on on the keyboard. So let's do that. Let's hop into the settings here. We'll scroll down and tap on general. And then let's scroll down again and you can see right under fonts is keyboard. Let's tap on keyboard. Now you need two different things. The first one is at the very top keyboards, you need to see emoji on that. If you don't just hit add new keyboard and add an emoji keyboard. This is the default emoji keyboard on your iPhone. After you've done that, we can just scroll down to the very bottom and you'll be able to see emojis and stickers. It says stickers, send stickers from your emoji keyboard. If this is off, you'll be able to do that with that little plus symbol, but you won't see it in the keyboard. And for whatever reason, iPhone decided to build this into the Genmoji. So you need this turned on in order to create those Genmojis and create your own custom emojis on that keyboard. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.